Hey guys, Shay here from Fool on a Journey with a tarot book review. And today I am reviewing Journaling the Tarot, a little book of big questions by Andy Matzner. You may recognize his name. He is also the author of the Tarot Activity book, which I have also reviewed. Um, this is a book unlike anything that you've seen before, which I do sort of feel like the Tarot Activity book was easing that direction, where it really had taken all of the need to understand tarot and to know about tarot and to already have an understanding of the cards completely out of the equation. This does the same. It does not matter if you know absolutely nothing about tarot. It doesn't even You don't even really need a tarot deck for this one. Uh, if you have an understanding of tarot, it certainly adds depth to this. But really, what sums this up is the subtitle, A Little Book of Big Questions. Um, Let's just get into it. So the beginning has a couple of little quirky stuff that we have learned to expect from Mr. Matzner. So he always does like these little pages of quotes, which are awesome. Um, and it's always by pretty cool people. And then he has dedicated this book again to Pamela Coleman Smith, without whom not, which I love. I think that's a an amazing dedication and, and an amazing statement. You know, if, if Rider Waite Smith is where you came from and, and how you got into all of this, then heck yeah, you needed her. She had to be there. Um, so more, you know, just sort of little kind of quirky. This, actually, this is what I wanted to get to. This is fantastic. This is the instructions page. It says this page was intentionally left blank. So he's really saying just do whatever you want. Um, I don't want to flip through the book because you'll see all the questions. So I picked one major arcana card. So here is the page on the Wheel of Fortune. If you'd like to pause and read some of these, you're certainly welcome to. There is a very good blend of, um, you know, just deep introspection. Um, what life changes are you experiencing? How well are you adapting to those changes? What would help you better adapt? Um, how clear are you about your vision for the future? Um, <laughs> what do you need to make peace with? How best, how can you best do so? Uh, and then there's some that, that definitely have aspects of shadow work involved, for sure. Uh, what are you resisting? What are the benefits of doing so and the costs? Oh, sorry, I got out of frame. Um, what is a pattern that you need to break? How could you do so most effectively? What dream that has been close to your heart for a long time do you need to say goodbye to and how might you best do that? How is your past influencing your present? Um, and then he definitely has some action stuff. What are three things that you learned about yourself and or the world from your mother? What are three things you learned about yourself and or the world from your father? What are five life, life lessons you've learned? Um, what's ending in your life? What's beginning? Um, how are you expanding your horizons? I mean, that's a good action. That, that is a definite call to action. So there's there's some things that, that once you sort of read, you'll you'll feel the need to respond to. There's so much journaling you can do. There are um, two pages for every single card all the way. It starts with the majors and rolls all the way through the minors and it is equal for the majors and minors. So here's the six of cups. Um, how are you sharing your joy with others? Are you listening to your emotions? What are they guiding you to do or be? What pleasant memories do you have from childhood? What are you nostalgic for and why? So, I mean, they do definitely apply, but if you have some knowledge of the tarot, obviously, you, you know, Six of Cups, if you can, you know, picture that card, I should have pulled one out, but, you know, that would require good planning. Um, you know, when you think about the Six of Cups, it's really that, that sort of bittersweet nostalgia, time has passed, you know, the things from your childhood that made you giddy that still make you smile when you see them now. Um, uh, 
do you know and then there are some where I can't see where he applied them from the six of cups but it's a good question to sort of filter through the six of cups so like the last one what difference will you make in the world I mean I don't initially I don't that doesn't make me think of the six of cups but if I was looking you know if I'm looking at a six of cups card and I'm seeing those little kids you know handing the one little kid handing flowers to the other little kid you know and you remember you know seeing all the talk about you know children have this you know such optimistic positive view on the world you know what difference can you make you could still have that that view as an adult so that is sort of the gist of the book like I said I didn't want to flip all the way through it because I want you to I think it's an amazing tool I encourage you to get it um, so I didn't want all of his questions to be on my video uh, something else to think about too is it's a great way to add to readings for yourself draw a card go to that page um, how you go through you know which question calls to you who knows you can use it just in general as bibliomancy if you want to just flip it open and see what page hits you pull that card and then maybe journal some of the questions there are infinite ways to use this book it is definitely much more a uh, a tarot tool a way to expand upon what you can do with tarot than it is a tarot book um, but again definitely useful uh, the journaling is amazing the questions are great there's definitely a good mix of questions that that call you to action I think a lot of times in in constantly reading for ourselves we forget that we have to do more than sit at our desk and pull cards we have to to change our actions in our lives and I think this is a great way of really making you see that. It's a great way of having a record of things that you said you were gonna do. Look, I journaled this, I said I was gonna do this, I've gotta do this. Uh, I'm a big fan, anyways. Um, I'm definitely a big fan. Another good thing that you could do is if you are someone who reads for other people, maybe that's something that you can really add to your reading. Maybe you can you know, pull a card for a journal prompt before you send someone on their way. You know, say maybe what you really need to be thinking about is this. You know, maybe this is the question that you need to be asking yourself, you know, that, that cards can't answer for you. You know, there are some questions that you have got to be able to look into yourself and be honest with yourself about answering. And if you read for other people, maybe that's this is a great way to sort of encourage people to start answering the questions that the cards bring up instead of just having the cards be the answer. Uh, but anyways, again, this is Journaling the Tarot by Andy Matzner. Uh, it is on Amazon. I will have a link to purchase from the Amazon site below if you are interested. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching.